Today I'm gonna show you how to do compass calibration on Chairson CX20 open source version or you can do it on your Quantum Nova. First thing you need to plug the battery into the quadcopter and then quickly turn on your transmitter and move the right stick to the bottom right side and you will see red and orange LED will blink and it means a calibration state then you, you have to move the quadcopter clockwise six times and then nose down and six times so then you plug the battery out and plug the battery in again wait for a few seconds and plug the battery then after less than two minutes you will see this LEDs I mean green LED will be solid and you are ready to fly so I will show you everything first thing we need to connect the quadcopter with battery then suddenly on your quadcopter put the right stick to the bottom right side so you can see the orange and red LED is blinking you can see here the orange and red LED is blinking it means it is in calibration state so now we will move the quadcopter clockwise x-axis six times or maybe more than that So now we will do nose down and move the quadcopter six times or more than that if you are indoor. I think that's it. Put the air quadcopter on level surface. Wait for a few seconds and the plug the battery out. And wait for a few seconds, turn off your transmitter, plug the battery again, and turn on your transmitter again. So now we will wait for green LED to be solid. This LED should be solid, so you are right to fly, and it will say all the satellites are locked. So that's it, it is locked, and you are right to fly. And now you need to unlock the motors. You need to put the left stick to the bottom right side and you see this LED is solid means the motors are unlocked so you can try this or you can also disarm the motors by moving the left stick to the bottom left side as you can see this LED is blinking it means it is now locked so you can cannot work so that's it if you like this video make sure you like it and also make sure you subscribe our channel so that's it for today I will see you next time